My family came to Canada when I was 13. Toronto in 1970 didn't have the CN Tower. Things were quite different. We moved into St. James Town uh, after a year or so. Bell bottoms were in at the time. We didn't have money to buy new pants, and so I think I cut up my jeans to expand it and sort of look like a bell bottom. The best thing this city had to offer was Nathan Phillips Square free skating ring. It didn't cost any money. You didn't just show up with your friends and you skate. I also went over to Center Island. That's where I learned how to ride a bike. We were so proud of our transit system. We were the top, right? People came from all over the world to check out our subways. They were clean, they're new. When I was a teenager, I started volunteering at the Toronto East General Hospital, counseling people that have attempted suicide. And one thing led to another. I really want to make a difference for the lives of people that are in need because I don't want other kids or other families to go through the hard times that I went through. Whether I was a school trustee, city councilor, or a member of parliament, the key thing that uh, drives me is to make life better for everyone. Our new city now, it has changed quite a bit since the 70s to now. The waterfront in the 70s was hardly anything. Then Harborfront came in, condos came in. Now we can do so much more. We have these centers of communities, of neighborhoods. These neighborhoods make us strong. We are just so much more cosmopolitan. This city has changed so much. I love this city. I watch this city grow. I watch it transform itself. This growth came from the people. Our new city, it's so diverse. We are from every corner of this world all living together in harmony. But some people are left behind and that needs to change because everyone counts. We're at a crossroad. This is the time that we want and we need real change. We're young, creative, diverse, smart, energetic, we just need a good mayor.